So you want to buy a Piper J3 Cub. That's an oldie. But is it a goodie? Of course it's a goodie, for Shaq's sake. And although they only made them for a little over nine years between 1938 and 1947, almost 20,000 got made. Can you guess why? Here's a hint. Many J3s weren't actually released as J3s, but as L4 Grasshoppers, which was the military variant. Yeah, you guessed it. World War II was just getting started in Europe when the J3 was developed. The USA would go on to train tens of thousands of new pilots in these Cubs. By the time the war ended, Massive advancements in aviation technology had been made, and the J-3 was discontinued shortly after. To illustrate that, the J-3 was a modern airplane when it debuted. Just nine years later, when it was cancelled, you could buy yourself a Beechcraft Bonanza, which is more than a few branches along the aviation tech tree. The Cub is a trainer at heart, and from the 30s. There are many versions, but 65 horsepower is about the average. Aviation was prepubescent at the time, and the ability to just travel vertically was an impressive stat sheet. Throw in two seats, and you had a capable 1930s flying machine. Anyway, 20,000-ish were built. It's relatively simple to maintain. It's a popular restoration project. That means there's plenty still flying today. They regularly go over about the cost of a used Beamer. Although if you're trying to get somewhere in a hurry, you're better off in the Beamer. Operating expenses aren't too bad. It's a simple plane with a low hull value. Many have no electrical systems at all. Insurance and maintenance costs reflect that. There are some ADs you'll want to check are complete if you're shopping for a J3. Sealed struts is a big one. This prevents water from getting in the struts and sitting in the bottom, causing rust. In the grand scheme of things, us humans haven't been flying for that long. About 120 years in the heavier-than-air fashion. During that time, a number of planes have risen to legendary status, and I count the J-3 among them. It was fundamental in transforming the USA from a largely ground-dwelling country into a formidable World War II air power. And 80 years after that, it's still flying today. I think that qualifies it. If you're in the market for a legendary aircraft, you're not going to find one much more affordable than this. That's the J-3 Cub. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next.